Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 24th, 2019. Well, I gotta tell you guys, we have had a very weird um, earning season. Just, it's just not been typical. Um, with uh, companies that report bad earnings uh, seemingly going up, with companies that report good er earnings struggling to go up, and sometimes even going down. It's been a real interesting earnings season to be certain. And this morning we have a, well, we have a big day ahead of us. The biggest earnings day since the fourth quarter uh, season began. And we also have a pretty big economic calendar today of market moving events. So an interesting situation as we approach this morning. Now let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we've got going on here. I have purposely um, used a chart with with nothing on it but price action because I wanted to really focus in on this price action. We will take a look at some technicals here, but when we look at this uh, this chart, the diamonds yesterday was slipping south, and we were about ready to slip into this open gap. We were looking pretty darn bearish. And then right at the end of the day, if we take a look at a quick 15 minute chart, right here at the end of the day, we had a substantial rally as the dark pool activity started to be um, consolidated to the market. Just all of a sudden those bulls came in, um, really improving the look of the day. So as we take a look at um, our moving averages here, this uh, dash blue line being the 50 day moving average. As you can see, we held on to that gap, but we still have some uh, leaving us with a bullish chart, leaving us with a bullish chart. But that possibility that we could slip lower into that gap if um, bulls are not impressed um, with reports today. So kind of an interesting situation. Now I'm gonna go back here to this naked chart, is what I call it, and this naked chart, you can see we have this uptrend. So we gotta give this up to the bulls. The, the momentum right now is ever so slightly with the bulls and earnings have been just enough to keep us positive. So we're holding on to this price support right here, but let's also keep in mind, we are still in a downtrend. So kind of a difficult um, chart to decide um, how we're going to to go from here. What are we? What happens from here? We um, in the diamonds are really in a bullish consolidation right now because we're holding above support and we're holding above the 50-day moving average, and so far hanging out above that open gap. Now here's the thing: if we were to get enough bullish um, reports today, things can move us up. We really do have a long launching pad here for that opportunity to move higher. We need to defeat this downtrend in the diamonds, but we do have that launching pad if we can hold that support level right in there. However, if for some reason um, we, we slip on some earnings reports, it really wouldn't be a big stretch to see uh, the diamonds testing that 50 day moving average in pretty quick order. So. We'll want to keep an eye on that pretty closely as they continue to roll out these earnings this morning. Um, there's already a kind of a mix um, that's come out this morning, and so we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. So, for example, uh, Twitter has already reported this morning a miss, and you can see it's getting hammered, expected to open down here this morning. Ouch. Anyone holding that, um, that's going to be a painful open this morning. And then we've seen Comcast. Comcast um, reporting this morning, and they have actually beat, and we're getting a, well, a modest push up here this morning in Comcast. So um, 
this morning we just have kind of this mix already going on. Let's hope that that actually improves as the morning progresses. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY uh, finished the day as the strongest index in the market, in my opinion, with um, what we call a piercing pattern. We had that bearish engulfing pattern here um, pushing us down, giving us a big... Um, a pause here um, overall because we we still have this resistance level in the chart that we have just struggled and struggled and struggled with and has been pretty darn challenging to get up through there and yesterday that that bearish engulfing candle left us with kind of a hmm what do we do from here um, if we had a follow-through and we gapped down yesterday looking like we could get that follow-through but we rallied back up and left behind what's called a piercing pattern that's a bullish pattern and so far I've got to once again I've got to give this up to the bulls the bulls are still holding on and maintaining that control and I kind of put this support level right through here as important where we get all these key price action clues right in here and we're holding above that support so that bullishness in here is still holding on in the SPY it is the strongest index in my opinion of all the four indexes so if we can continue to maintain this bullishness if we can continue to get just enough of bullish earnings reports to push us higher then we really do have that opportunity coming up here where we could attack the all-time highs in the SPY because of that hold in here. So let's watch that close. Now, of course, um, earnings can certainly change things and economic reports that we have today can change things very, very quickly. But um, it, would be, it would be a pretty damaging move if we saw uh, the SPY break down in here and actually reach this gap down here. So I don't think that is likely in the cards today, but certainly one something we wanna pay attention to if we had a majorly bad round of earnings or something but right now I've got to give this up to the bulls if we take a look at the queues now the queues are not far behind they still have a pretty darn bearish pattern up here failing a little rally failing bearish engulfing and this is a long way from a bullish piercing pattern but the queues are not far behind kind of hanging out in here and we have a big day for the Nasdaq today and a lot could be decided uh, this afternoon with Intel, uh, Juniper, um, Amazon reporting after the bell today. We have a big day um, here in the NASDAQ and it will be, well, it could be that today decides which direction we go here um, in the NASDAQ. Can we continue to maintain bullishness? Can we continue to push higher? Now this morning, as you can see, we're moving up here. We had a good report from Microsoft last night. We're moving up here this morning. We're getting a gap up and that certainly um, qualifies for that pierce. We, we closing or moving at least halfway above that bearish candle so if that can maintain today we also have that opportunity here for that attack of all-time highs it's really going to depend on this afternoon's earnings reports if we're going to be able to hold on to that and please keep in mind that tomorrow and this is one of the challenging things about earnings no matter what you do today tomorrow we could have a substantial gap up in the market or a substantial gap down based on how those earnings earnings come out in the afternoon. So keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully around um, that possible circumstance. And then let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM, um, struggling along here, but I have to say, uh, again, I'm going to have to give this up to the bulls. Three days of consolidation in here. Um, it, very wicky, very um, undecided in here on IWM. And IWM has just been really sick overall holding on to this downtrend in the chart trying to struggle up against that now this morning we're getting a little bit of a gap up this morning here just a slight gap up here in IWM possibly we could get IWM on the positive side of this downtrend and then maybe see it actually participate with the rest of the market that'd be nice and that would probably help the bigger indexes move up as well so let's keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. 
that VIX has been um, kind of a perplexing um, chart to, to deal with. We we get a little bit of fear, and then the fear ab, uh, runs away, and then we get a little bit of fear, and the fear runs away. So right now, what we've been doing here since earnings began is really chopping right in here. Now, some folks might look at this as a bearish flag, and you can see we have that dip down and now we're getting that little bit of a flag pattern right in here and that would set up as a potential bearish flag and with that a uh, little bit of fear showing yesterday in here that might suggest um, uh, excuse me, um, not fear, uh, the fear dropping out of this, that might suggest on this uh, little flag that we move on lower here in the VIX. And if that is the case, if we start drifting lower in here, then I would expect the indexes to move up. So that bearish flag could actually be showing some bullishness starting to develop here in the market. So let's keep an eye on that. And if I take a look at some support and resistance in this chart you can see we have um, a very significant level in here and right now we're holding underneath that and there doesn't seem to be any sign at least at the at this point of attacking that so a drift lower in here dropping down into these lower levels would be bullish for the market so let's keep an eye on that now let's take a look at um, T2122, which is a four week new high new low ratio now this is one of those um, indicators that's just it's just so good it's hard to believe because every time we dip down here into this lower range we we generally bounce back up we're in this uh, bullish reversal zone is what I call it when we push clear up into here we're actually hitting that bearish reversal zone now one of the things that can make this very very difficult to read is earnings reports and all of these events that come into play and we've had a period um, over here where we just kind of hung out up here um, in that zone and we may be doing that or coming close to doing that again and here we are pushing up toward that bearish reversal zone if those earnings numbers continue to just provide just enough to keep us positive then we could hang out up here in this area and with the t2122 it does tell us that we do have opportunity yet to the upside we can move all the way up here to this 100 level and we've come very very close to that several times just poking up there near that 100 level so we still have upside room here and uh, what we also want to recognize is if we happen to get some bad reports or bad earnings that we have a pretty big um, uh, place to, to move down in here so keep that in mind as you plan your risk and trades forward so watch that as we push up toward those resistance levels in T2122. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is kind of um, chock full of market moving events today. We have durable goods orders. Durable goods, obviously, very important to the market. And that comes out prior to the market open. So we'll see that number here pretty soon. That's going to be a big, uh, big driver for the market possibly this morning. We also have jobless claims this morning. Obviously, that is a big deal. Um, so far, jobless claims have held up really, really well, and I don't expect that to change. Uh, PMI flash, don't expect that to move the market at all, but new home sales here at 10 a.m., Eastern time that definitely can have an effect on the market either bullishly or bearishly so let's watch those closely pretty important reports here on the day we have a natural gas report I don't expect that to move the market at all a bunch of bond announcements and auctions and a Fed balance sheet here at 430 which is unlikely to move the market at all uh, just a quick note later on tonight we have a Fed speaker so let's keep an eye on those major reports here this morning as uh, this market begins to develop for the open. 
With that, um, on the earnings calendar today, we just have a uh, just a ton of earnings reports, more than I can really possibly uh, point out um, uh, for the length of this video. But we have a lot going on with uh, 3M reporting today, Amazon reporting today. We have reports from Deckers. We have reports from GILD. We have reports from Intel and Juniper, um, uh, Nokia. Um, so lots of reports, Visa reports today. So a lot of reports, and, and unfortunately, a lot of those big reports are going to be after the bell today, which means we can expect um, some kind of gap tomorrow, I think, with those big reports. So let's just keep that in mind as you plan your day forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you guys do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube and then there'll be a pop-up and make sure you click that bell icon so that every time I post one of these videos um, you'll be notified when they come out you don't have to wait and watch for them they'll just automatically notify you when they come out and if you find this video helpful if you find this video useful please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment you know the purpose of these videos is not to provide a whole bunch of hype it's not to spin out it's not to predict anything what it's meant to do is help everyone focus on the key factors for the day really look at those technicals avoid that emotional response and it's so easy to become emotional around um, earnings events and big news events because we all want to have that ability that crystal ball to be able to predict the market but the honest truth is no matter how good we are technically there's no way to truly predict predict the direction of the market. What we need to do is look at those technicals and really focus in on the things that may be affecting the market today and how we might want to approach the market for today um, with a consideration of uh, you know making money, protecting our capital, and all of those things that we have to do as professional traders. So think about those things and if you find these helpful, please feel free to share these videos with any friends or family. Um, share them on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, um, um, these are uh, available for everyone. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome and I truly, truly appreciate you. Let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up. Now I want to remind everyone that when I take a look at some of these stocks, they're, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, but um, more of a part of the education that I do and helping people improve their trading is looking at the technicals of those charts and how they may be setting up something for your watch list please make sure you do your evaluation on these trades um, one chart that I have been pointing out here recently that I think is doing quite well is Costco now Costco did find some sellers um, yesterday pushing this back down now I can't tell you for sure if it's going to fail in here one thing I will tell you is that this has been trending so nice for so long this rest or pullback in Costco really doesn't bother me all that much if it holds on to this trend. So this little pullback in here, I want to watch this for that potential move higher. Retail had kind of a bad day yesterday. A lot of things pushing back down. They've been going up nicely. Kind of a bad day yesterday. I'd keep Costco on my list. Um, kind of watch for that to see which way that might go um, here um, in the near future. Take a look at Pfizer. Now Pfizer is a completely different kind of chart. It's what we call a rounded bottom breakout. And what we're looking at is these rising lows in here, this nice little trend starting to set up here in Pfizer. But we also have to recognize the fact that we're this has been very oversold. And notice that we've crossed back up through this 50-day moving average, and it's starting to turn up. That's the rounded part of the breakout. And once we get above this 50-day moving average, and you can see I've had an alert here, and that alert triggered yesterday with that bullish move in the chart. What we're looking for is just a simple rally this rally up here toward the 200 day moving average very very common pattern we see this repeat itself over and over and over and you might find some use in that chart just keep an eye on that and remember remember guys we always have to pay attention to those earnings reports and
and this is going to report here soon. So there may not be a trade here until after that report comes into play. Um, I've been pointing out Roku. Now Roku has been struggling along here with its 50 day moving average. Been watching this pretty closely. Now Roku, if it can hold on to trend here, still has that opportunity. So we've rallied up nicely, pulling back. We need to see those buyers step in here soon and try to push that up. But something to watch, keep your eyes on um, in those charts. Um, I've been watching Microsoft. Actually, Microsoft has had a tendency in the past to rally toward earnings. Didn't happen this time, but Microsoft did report a good earnings report yesterday and is moving up. Now, if the techs continue to show signs here, let me show you a weekly chart here of Microsoft, this nice weekly consolidation. So although daily this thing has been choppy and all over the place, if you're looking for a longer trade, I might be keeping an eye on this if Microsoft can pop up out of here then we may have that opportunity for a nice upside move here in microsoft so something to keep an eye on so with that everyone i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great profits once again please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment i want to thank you all and if you're struggling as a trader i want to encourage you to never give up you know Trading is one of those very, very challenging businesses. It's a lot to it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to do. And and rarely is there that person that is just that phenom that comes in and just immediately makes a lot of money in the market. It requires a lot of work, a lot of effort. I know it it took me a long time. But believe me, guys, if an old carpenter like myself can figure this stuff out and find some way to make a living at this for the last 14 years, so can you. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.